Oh, hey guys, Tor here. How's it going? It's been six years since I did my last keynote and last night I had the great honor and privilege to give my five minute keynote to a bunch of international business professionals. It was uh, very nerve wracking. I was, I was excited, nervous and uh, a whole bunch of mixed feelings but it all went so well. I got such great feedback and testimonials out of it that were encouraging to me and such messages give me the strength and motivation to continue and try and motivate you. I also got some fantastic feedback so for next time I can even do a better job. Also we are coming to an end of the 10 day vlogging, um, daily vlogging challenge which yeah I'm kind of uh, glad to be able to see the end of that um, but it is a great experience but it is exhausting and, and uh, you know um, but that is how we grow, right? We challenge ourselves and then we are successful in pulling it off. And there we are, you know, we can proudly say we did that and um, put a sticker on our shirt. Just joking about the sticker, but you can if, if you're into that kind of thing. Also, I'm super excited that uh, the song that uh, I was part of in uh, producing the music video for Human to Human, you know, is getting picked up uh, by by bloggers and and the you know music um, music news room thing, and they're praising um, they're praising E. Stewart Epps for for the great work that he did in in uh, mixing the song. Um, and there's a small mention about how good the video is as well. <laughs> but you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, Stuart is a great uh, music producer. He deserves all the all the praise in the world. It's very um, encouraging and humbling for me to have even played a small part uh, part in that, uh, producing the, the video for it. Without further ado, as they say, uh, here is a, a couple of snippets from my keynote. Um, I hope uh, you enjoy it and I'm going to say bye bye in the meantime and I'll catch you for last episode of the daily vlog series tomorrow. Stay motivated, stay positive and crush it like a pro. I saw this awesome picture the, with the caption saying, the best view comes after the hardest climb. It's okay to fail. It's okay to fail as long as we don't quit. Let me take you back to 2010. Bolivia, South America's poorest country, was to organize its own climate summit after the UNFCC meeting in Copenhagen was declared a failure. Bolivia demonstrated the will and we had the technology. We immediately noticed the hunger and interest in uh, our proposal and the technology. We met with high-ranking generals, politicians, high-tech made in a low-tech country. Anything is possible. Our persistence eventually paid off. We were invited to present the prototype to the president. We were exhausted, but we drew the last bit of energy from somewhere in the hope that this could be a breakthrough. The French novelist Victor Hugo said it best. There is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. It is how we finish that counts. I would like to use the final seconds available to encourage you to go after your dreams and don't let anything stand in your way. Life is full of opportunities and oftentimes we fail to either see or be courageous enough to take them up. I have been there myself. Let me give you this final example. Henry Ford started at the age of 40. Sam Walton started Walmart at 44. It is never too late to start to leave your legacy. 